Basically, I was on YouTube the other day and I was watching this clip from Fast and the Furious 7. I mean, technically it's Fast 7, but who cares? And obviously, it's a movie which is part of a extended saga, the Fast and the Furious saga, which basically revolves around a bunch of characters, they drive fancy cars, and they're led by their leader, Dominic Toretto, played by Vin Diesel, who has this girlfriend named Letty, played by Michelle Rodriguez. Now, in terms of Letty's backstory, she's apparently killed in Fast and Furious 4, but then during the end credits of Fast and Furious 5, they realize that she's still alive, but she's lost her memory. And so she spends the next two movies trying to regain her memory. And she regains her memory in full at the end of Fast and the Furious 7. But at this point, Dominic is unconscious and apparently dying, so she's holding his head in her hands. And so just to kind of paraphrase what she says is, I remember everything. I remember everything that came back to me in a flash. And I especially remember that we were married in the Dominican Republic. And then Dominic responds by waking up and saying this really cool line. So basically what he says is, it's about time. And the music kicks in, it's very dramatic, it's very cool, you should definitely watch the movie. But anyways, after that, Letty continues the dialogue, and so Letty says to him, How come you never told me we were married? And Dominic responds by saying, Because you can't tell someone that they love you. You can't tell someone that they love you. And I gotta tell you, friends, I really love that scene, because the point is basically this. As long as you live the Christian life from the perspective of pure duty and obligation, like doing these things because you have to, or just waiting for people to tell you to do things that you know you ought to be doing, you'll always be a little bit sad and a little bit frustrated, right? Because at the end of the day, you're not made to be a slave. You're not made to be a servant. You're not made to be an employee. Instead, you're made to be a lover. You're made to be the beloved, right? And so the idea is that now's the time. Now's the time to recognize that I'm called to immediately bring to the table my heart. I need to care, I need to own it, I need to own my relationship with the Lord, and no one can do it in my stead. The time of fulfillment is now. The kingdom of heaven has come near. And so therefore I'm called to repent and believe what was always true. Jesus Christ always, always was the love of my life.